Hi, this is Mike, and I'm back with another Drum Pad Beats concept video. This time I'm talking about a scene. What is a scene? It's a container for patterns that holds notes, and each channel in the drum and synth have patterns that the scene are linked to. So scene one holds a bunch of patterns, scene two holds a bunch of patterns, but they all get switched at the same time. And this can happen as you're creating the track or during the real-time record when you're recording out your wave or MIDI remix. And it only will activate and play notes that are looping. And when you're switching scenes, these the snare and kick weren't playing when I switched, so it's a there's quite a bit of mixing things that you can do when you're recording things out. Now the scene bank has a pad of 16 pads for the scenes, and then it has four banks. Scene 64 is empty because I do some things with notes and switching during real time that I need to switch to an empty pattern, so that's not available. You can also set the pads in dual mode where you have your scenes up here, and this is for mixing and recording live, where you can loop on and off different pads and see them all at once. So you can see there, it's kind of like a real-time pad organization tool and all that that I just played could have been recorded to a WAV file or a MIDI file. All that note data as you were switching everything is being saved as individual notes on a piano roll. Then the next is how do we get data from one scene to another and that's with drag and drop. So without one of these edit modes enabled, you can't do anything, which is kind of a safety thing. You can just select. So default is select mode. You put it into copy mode, duplicate. You can drag the scenes around, put them in the same bank, or you can drag down to another bank and put them in, and it copies the data. Then if you put it in move mode, cut, you can take that same scene, move it back, and it's moved all the note data. So you can see it's not in that bank anymore. And now you can color the scene, name the scene, for organizational purposes when you get to song mode. And you can also delete. So clear, that's the name of the scene, and it will remove all note data. And you can also export a scene as a wave or MIDI. So here you it has an auto name scene one you can also name it something else you can export it as a wave OGG or a MIDI file it has tail effect wrapping settings you can wrap the effect tail for a seamless loop drum loop you can cut it off or you can just export it with silence and that adds the effect tail at the end it stops exporting when it basically reaches silence And that about does it for scenes. So we have scene selection, scene banks, scene color, scene name, copy scenes, move scenes, delete, 
and then dual pad mode where you can change the scenes it scrolls in banks of eight so you can change the scenes live as you're going okay that will do it for this thanks for watching